All right. So like I said, it's a continuation from the previous lesson, mathematical formula and change of subject. So we solved several examples and we got to the substitution method. So we are going to take it right from substitution method. Then we move on to the next thing we have then. Now, did any of you practice some similar examples? Changing the subject of a formula. Emmanuel Fumado, what do you make of that? What comes into mind? Changing the subject of the formula. So when you talk about changing the subject of a formula, yeah. I mean, you are representing the formula with letters and you are simplifying it to the lowest term okay. using uh, variables. Okay. All right. Amanyo Jessica, what comes into mind? Is Jessica online? Michael Apenyo, what comes into mind? Um, so it's, um, so making something the subject so that you can, um, you can solve for it. Okay. All right. So let's put something down there. The subject of a formula is the variable that is being worked out. The variable, the var a variable you are solving for. It can be recognized as the letter on its own on one side of the equal sign. So anytime you are making a variable stands alone at any side of the equation, we say that you are making that variable subject. In that case, the variable will be standing alone. The there wouldn't be any letter attached to it. For example, in the formula for the area of a rectangle, we have A equal to BH, where your A there is the area equal to B is the base times the H there will give you the height. Now, the subject of the formula is A. So as you can all see, the A is standing alone. So our A is the subject of this formula. Jones, Achu, do you understand that? Yes, sir. OK. Miriam, Noelin, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, let's copy that quickly. Then we go to the next slide. Deborah Paula, have you finished copying? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. I want to see your video working. All right. Okay. Changing the subject of a formula means rearranging the formula so that a different 
variable is on its own. So like the first example you were giving, the variable is already standing alone. Now you can also be giving uh, another one where you have to rearrange before you make the variable stands alone. We shall be taking some uh, very soon. To make B the subject of the formula A equal to this, you see, we have another formula there, A equal to BH, which is the area of a rectangle. Now, what we need to do is this. We rearrange the relation to get BH equal to A. You see, the B, we want to solve for is at the right side. So now we rearrange the whole equation so that we can easily solve for B. So now we bring BH to the left side equal to A, which is um, the same equation in a way. Now, the next thing you will do is divide both sides of the equation by H. We want B to stand alone. So if you want B to stand alone, then we need to cut the H from B. So in order to cut, we are dividing. We divide, that is cutting. We divide both sides of the equation by H. And if you do that, we have BH divided by H equal to, <coughs> sorry, your A divided by H, so that your, this H will cancel this H. Now, the moment this H cancels the down one, then you are now left with B, and that will be equal to A over H. So we can write our final equation as B equal to A over H. Emmanuel Kumado, do you follow what uh, I just did? Yes, sir. Good. William Shepard, did you also follow? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any question? No, sir. Apenushina, did you also get that? Hello. Yes. Uh, Who is writing on the up. screen? Okay. Maybe your hand is up. Yes. Sir, sir please, I'm having a question. Okay. So please, it always that the right side of the this one equation should come to the left side. BH. Okay. Who can yeah. answer that question? Who can answer that question for us? Precious. Can you answer that question for us? Now, she asked whether. Uh, every time we need to bring the left side, the right side to the left, and then the le left side to the right. It is not all the time. This time we are saying you have to rearrange be because when it is at, yes. Please. Now, not always, but this time, because we are solving for B, and B is, our B is at the right side here, sometimes it is easier if you reposition the whole equation bringing BH to the left side. So even if you can uh, solve it without rearranging, it is also correct. Are you okay? If you have to move it when it is at the left side before you divide, that is also correct. Okay. 
All right. Akiti Thank Pell. you, sir. You are welcome. Akiti Pell. Yes, sir. Are you following what we are doing? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm sure you've all finished uh, copying this. Yes, Let's sir. Let's quickly move to uh, the next thing we have there. Okay. Someone is writing on the screen. Okay. Steps in making a variable the subject of a formula. So when you are given any formula, these are the steps you need to go through in order to make that variable stand alone. One. Remove fractions if there are any. And how do we remove fraction? By multiplying through by the LCM, which means that you multiply each term by the LCM. Each of the fractions there, or any of the terms, it could even be a bracket, you multiply each term by the LCM. Two, Remove brackets. Now, after multiplying through by the LCM, you will definitely cancel out some of the numbers or expressions or letters. You will now remove brackets. And we remove brackets by expanding whatever you have left. Three, you group like terms, which means that all the variables that are similar, you bring them to one side of the equation, which means that the letter, all the expressions containing the letter you want the subject, all those ones should go to one side of the equation. Then all the letters without the value you are making the subject are also like things. So one side of the equation. we factorize the terms on each side of the equation. So sometimes the, uh, 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 let's say the variable you are making the subject appears two times or three times in a particular expression, you have to factorize it and you move on from there. Then you solve for the variable. So we factorize, then by solving, you will be dividing through by coefficient. Then you cancel out so that the variable now remains standing alone. Then we say you've made it a subject. These are the steps you will need to go through in order to make a variable or a letter stands alone in a particular formula. If you know these steps, there is no way you cannot make a stands alone in any given mathematical equation. Copy that, let's move on. If you have any questions too, or you have some, uh, all that I've said, you can also get on board. Yeah, up to the root, your hand is up. Yes, sir. sir. Please, what if there is a square root? A root sign? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. That has also come. If the new, so I said, if the new subject letter is a square or cube, then take the square root or cube root of both sides to obtain a single letter. So if there is a square root, what you need to do is to square. Are you okay? The letter you are making the subject is in a square root, you square. If you square, the square is going to cancel the square root. That may stand alone. Then you can proceed. So you square both sides. You know definitely whatever you do to one side of the equation, 
you do the same thing to the other side of the Ruth, are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So we shall be taking uh, some of those examples. We shall be taking it step by step, step by step, so that you will not get confused. Yeah. Have you finished copying? Achu Jones. Have you finished copying? Yes, sir. Okay. Francisca Sandor, have you finished copying? I'm in. Have you finished? Okay. Yes, then hurry sir. up, please. Okay. Now, making a variable the subject in a simple equation, please. It should be equation, do not bring the S. Right? Cancel this in a simple equation. We are making a variable the subject when you're given a simple equation. So we will be taking them one by one, the equations from one step to the other. The first example, make R the subject of the expression P equal to Q plus R plus S. Now, in this equation, the R we are looking for is at the right side of the equation. This is just a simple equation. In order to make our subject, this is what we do, solution. We have the given equation. So as usual, our first step, grouping like terms, right? We group the like terms. If you group the like terms, we have R equal to, now, you see, your Q will move to the left side and your Q is positive here. When it crosses the equal sign to the left side here, it becomes negative Q. So we have P minus Q. Your S is also positive here. So if you move it to the left side, it also becomes negative S. So your R equal to P minus Q minus S. That's all, you are done. This is a simple equation. Akiti Pell, are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Looking, did you follow? Maybe it's men, sir, your hand is up. Sir. Yeah. Please, eh? is there any other way that we can solve it? Um, there are several ways of killing a cat. Now, another way we can solve this is to rearrange it, okay? Which means that you are going to move the whole of this expression, the expression at the right side. You see, the underlined expression. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yes, sir. yes, sir. You are going to move the whole of this expression to the left side. Then you now move um, what is at the left side to the right side. Then you can now group the items. That is also another way of doing it. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. Michael. Sir, please. Um, is the arrangement of the other ones very important? Like, assuming we we send um the 
whole equation to the left side. And then we are bringing, yeah. we are making R the subject. If we move the other one side of the equation sign, is the arrangement very important? The arrangement is not really important. It's not important. So you can ignore arranging uh, the equation, okay? It's not important at all. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. What oh, Unis? Yeah, Unis. Okay, Unis are up. Sir. Yes. Yeah, please, I want to know, looking at the equation, when P was on the other side, it was positive. So, so why is it that when it crossed the equal to sign, it didn't become negative? Okay. You see, what we have done there, we didn't move the P. We were rather moving the variables at the right side to the left side. So the P was just standing there. The P did not move. Are you okay? Maybe I should have rearranged it. Then the R will be at the left side. So I'm sure the way you are thinking, like you will rearrange it before grouping the like things. That is so another method of solving it. Are you okay? Yes, sir. And you can try it. You will get the same answer. Okay. All right. Let's go to the second example. Example two. If A plus B equal to W minus X plus Y, express X as subject, which means that you are making X the subject of that equation. Francis, Emmanuel, you will give us that answer. Yes, Francis, we are waiting for you. Okay. Apeño Michael. X equals W plus Y minus A minus B. Okay, that's your answer. Uh, I saw another hand up. Go again. Yes, Boku Yunis. So please, S equals W plus Y minus A minus B. Okay, now let's keep your answers. Let's compare your answers uh, with uh, suggested solution. Yes. There's another person who has hands up. Uh, Okay, upper the root. Yeah, upper the root, yeah. So please, I got x equals a plus b minus y minus x minus y divided by negative one. Come again. A plus b minus y minus x, eh? a plus b minus w minus y, all divided by negative one. Okay, I love that answer. Let's compare. Just keep your answer. Don't do anything to your answer. Uh, that's a fine answer. Now, our solution is this. We have the equation. So we have x equal to. So we are just moving the x. You see, the x here is already negative. So if x is negative at the right side, if you move it to the left side, it becomes positive. So our x is already standing alone. And it should be equal to, you see, w plus y is at the right side of the equation. So it also remains the same. It is only your a and the b that is going to move. So we have w plus y. Now, when the, this a crosses the equal sign to this side, it becomes minus. Your b crosses to this side, it also becomes minus. This is correct. Uh, root, your answer is also correct. 
hundred percent. Okay. So you are dividing through by negative one, and you know the negative is going to affect the expression at the top. Okay. So if you do that, you will still get the same equation here. So Ruth, your answer is also correct. Okay, sir. Good. Kuma Jasper, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's pick another equation or example. Example number three. Make lambda the subject of the relation V equal to FH. V equal to FH. Now, you shouldn't forget our uh, steps. You would ask yourself, is there any fraction? No fraction. Then you proceed to the next step. So in this case, we don't have a fraction there. So you go to the next step, removing bracket. Is there any bracket? No bracket. The next step is to group like terms. Is there any like terms you have to group? They are already grouped. So the next one here is to make your lambda, and this is called lambda. Making your lambda the subject, we need to cut the F from lambda. And by cutting the F, we divide. We divide here, we are cutting it. So let's check. Okay. If your answer is ready, maybe you can also let us know. Emmanuel Fumado. I have a lot of hands uh, up, but just hold on. Emmanuel Fumado. Okay, um, Sedem Rosebud. Yes. Yes, I got H is equal to V over. It's, it's not H, it's lambda. Right? Lambda is lambda. equal to V over F. Okay, that's your answer. Uh, Jasper. Say, please, lambda is equal to V over F. Okay. Uh, Eunice. Please, lambda is equal to V over X. Okay. Uh, Shepard. Sir. Yes. Sir, please, I had lambda is equal to V on F. Okay. All right, the rest, you, you hold on, you answer the next question. So let's compare our answers. <coughs> so yes, we have the original equation. Uh, and we said you can also rearrange it. So if you, are, you rearrange, you have F lambda equal to V. Now we are looking for lambda. So you divide through the number sitting in front lambda, and that is F. So if you divide through, then you are going to, you see, this F in front of lambda will cancel this F. So you are now left with lambda at the left side of the equation. And by so doing, so dividing both sides by F and simplifying it, we have lambda equal to V of F. Peace, Dan, so do you understand that? Yes, sir. Are you I saw sure this. If I gave you some. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, Akiti Pell, did you get an explanation? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's move on. Example number four. 
we have this rearrange the formula p equal to 2a plus 2b to make b the subject everybody should try this Okay, Michael. Can you say B equals P minus two A all over two? Okay, that's your answer. Maybe Smensang. I got B is equal to two A minus P over two. Okay, that's your answer. Kudo da queen. Queen, your hand is up. Sir, yes. B, B equals P minus 2A on, on 2. Okay, just keep your answers. Let's compare. Uh, the rest, please, hold on. You will answer the next question. So, we have solution. They say you should rearrange it. So, our P equal to 2 sorry oh there's a mistake here there is a mistake here um yeah there's a mistake so if you rearrange it your answer is going to be p minus 2a if you rearrange you have 2a plus 2b equal to p now if you group like terms, it will give you a uh, 2B equal to uh, P minus 2A, which means that your P will now be equal to P minus 2A over 2. So that will be your final answer. Please do not copy the solution here. That's the answer and the solution I've given you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I finished now. Did you get that? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, rejoice. Said the name. Your hand is up. Yes. Sir, please want to simplify. Yeah, you can simplify if you, you, you have to. You can. Yeah. Benoni, your, your hand was up. Yes. Sir, please, can you go over again? Okay. Now, I said, okay, let me just. So you have this question. P equal to 2A plus 2B. Now, they say you should rearrange. So to rearrange, meaning all that is uh, at the right side should go to the left side. Whatever is at the left side should also come to the right side. That is rearranging it. So that will give us 2A plus 2B equal to P. Nothing will change. Now, the next step, since there is no fraction, there is no bracket, the next step is to group like terms. So grouping like terms, you will have 2B equal to P minus 2A. We want B to stand alone. So you will divide both sides by 2. If you divide through by 2, then your B will now be equal to P minus 2A all over 2. That's all. Benoni, did you get that? Yes, sir. sir thank you. Okay, you are welcome. We go to another example. The formula for the surface area A of 
of a closed box is given by this a equal to 2wb plus 2wh plus 2bh rearrange this formula to make b the subject so everybody should try uh, this lesson we are making b the subject Achu Jones, I will be calling you to give me your answer or the answer to this problem. Sir. Yes, who is that? Is it Achu Jones? Yes, sir. Okay, Atu Jones. Please, I had A minus 2WH over 2W minus 2H. Okay, that's your answer. Just keep it. Boku Yunis. Sir, please, I had B equals A minus 2WB plus 2WH over 2H. Okay, that's your answer. Just keep it. Um, Apedo root. Sir, please, I had B equals A minus 2 WH over 2 into brackets W plus H. Okay, that's your answer. Apenyo Michael. So I had B equals A minus 2WH all over 2 into bracket W plus H. Okay. Keep your answers. Let's see. Let's compare that to uh, our, our solution here. So, uh, solution. We have the given formula. Now, they said we should rearrange. So the first thing is to rearrange it. So you see, all the expression at the right side, I've now moved the whole of this expression to the left side. And then the A has also now come to the right side. That is rearranging of the formula. Then the next thing to do we check since there is no fraction, we go straight to group the like terms. And in grouping the like terms, since we are making B the subject, all those expressions involving B will come to one side. And all those expressions without B are also like terms. So they will also go to one side of the equation. So this will give us 2WB plus 2BH. You see, the BB will now remain at this side. That should be equal to A minus, you see, the 2WH here does not involve. So we move it to the right side. And if you move the positive, it becomes negative 2WH. That is grouping of like things. Now, but please, in the examination, you don't have to be uh, writing, rearranging, group like things. Don't write that. Just go through the steps one after the other until you get to your final answer. Do not write all those ones there. The next one, so you see, we want to factorize. You see, the, we have two B, two B is here, two B is here. So we factorize two B out. And now if you bring two B from here, two B from here outside, you are now left with W here, plus h here so we have 2b into bracket h plus sorry w plus h and that should be equal to the expression at the right side of the equation so the next thing to do now is to divide through uh you divide through 
by a coefficient of b and the coefficient of b is going to be two into bracket w wants the b to stand alone so we divide through two into bracket w plus h two into bracket w plus h and that will give us so if you do the division you will see clearly that um two w h this is going to cancel the whole of this so it's gone so you are now left with only b standing alone that will give you this b here so that your b will now be equal to a minus 2 w h all over 2 into bracket w plus h that is the solution problem so yes all your answers you provided were correct the answers you provided um, were all correct you are to evaluate the following expressions if your x equal to 9 y equal to negative 2 and z equal to 5 substitution method so in our solution we have the first expression 3y minus x all over y now what it means is that wherever you see the letter y you go and put in negative 2 wherever you see the letter x you go and put in 9 wherever you see yeah any other you do the same thing so the first one we only have an expression in terms of x and then y so if you come to uh, the the first step we do our substitution so in doing our substitution you go there uh, you see that the now we have three y three is multiplying y so this is equal to three multiplying the y. Your y now is the negative two. So in place of y, I will put negative two minus x and your x is also nine. So in place of x, I will put the nine over there so that we get this. Now, all divided by y. And again, we know that your y is equal to negative two. So you put it uh, at the denominator. Now. If you move on, this is equal to your three times the negative two there is going to give you this negative six. Now, minus the nine, which we have over here, uh, the x there stands alone, so minus nine. So that if you simplify the numerator, this gives you negative 15, that is negative six, minus nine gives you negative 15 over negative two. And finally, your answer will be 15 over two. That is the solution to the first one. Uh, yes, to be, I must be honest, almost all of you uh, had everything right. You did very well. You scored almost every question over there with the exception of some few uh, of you who couldn't make it, but I'm sure maybe uh, due to one or two reasons, we'll solve that later on. We go to the second question. We have the expression 2z minus x squared all over y minus 5 over z. Yes, this is where uh, some few people got stuck alongside. Now the same substitution. So we have two multiplying z and your z here is five. So we have two times the five and that gives us this expression here. Again, minus x squared. So we said whatever value you are putting in, you make sure the value is in the bracket. So I place the nine in a bracket before I squared it and that gives me 
uh, 81. So if you solve this whole expression, it gives you 10 minus 81 divided by the negative two. Now, when you come to this side, we have the division sign is here. We have the division sign here. And uh, so we have five divided by Z. You know your Z is also five. So this five over the, the five here, which is the Z, will now cancel out to give you one. So we know that in every number divided by one gives you the same number. So moving on, we have uh, 10 minus 81 divided by negative two will now give us a negative 71. That is 10 minus 81, negative 71 divided by the negative two, and that gives you the 71 over two. That is our solution to the second uh, part of the question. We go to the third part. When I finish, if there is any problem, you can alert me. We go to the next part, and the next part, the, the same substitution. So x, y, z, which means x is multiplying z, y is multiplying z as well. So we have x, which is 9, multiplying the y, which is negative 2, multiplying again the 5, which is the z, minus the x squared. x is also 9, so we have 9 squared plus 15. And that gives us all divided by y minus s, which is your y is negative 2 minus the x, which is 9. And if you solve everything, your answer will be 156 over 11. So that is a solution to the first part of the questions. Now, um, yes, the second part is where we had a little challenge. Yes, obviously, uh, there is a slight uh, typo in this uh, question. So the first part of the question is not supposed to be, to be inclusive. That's the sum of the ages of two brothers is 38. It shouldn't be part of the question. So yes, most of you uh, did not attempt this question, but I think it is wrong. You should have attempted it. I was expecting you to at least write the equations for the two statements over there. So those who were able to write the equations, I gave you the full score. But if you are unable to write anything, I didn't give you anything for that. But at least for the equations, you should be able to write it. So let's look at the suggested solution to this problem. And looking at that, We have, now they said, the sum of the ages of two brothers is 38. We don't know the ages of the two brothers. So we need to use some variables to represent the ages of the two brothers. So in our suggested solution here, we said, let the younger brother's age equal to X, and then let the elder brother's age equal to Y. That is their current ages. So the sum of their ages is 38, and that gives you x plus y equal to 38. If you're able to write this ex equation here or this formula, x plus y equal to 38, I gave you two marks for doing that. Uh, four, rather, four marks for doing that. Then the second part of the question says, four years ago, so now if we know their current ages, Four years ago means that we are reducing their current ages by four. In that case, we are going to have younger brother's age will be equal to X minus four, and then elder brother's age equal to Y minus four. And the question continues that four years ago, the age of the elder brother was the square of the younger brother's age, which means that in Four years ago, four years ago, if you more, if you square the younger brother's age, that will give you exactly the elder brother's age. So we know that this is going to be their ages four years ago. So four years ago, 
the elder brother's age equal to the square of the younger brother's age. The elder brother's age is y minus four. Was, we said that was here means equal to, is, it's also equal to. So the square of the younger brother's age and the younger brother's age is x minus four. So we square the younger brother's age. So the whole formula here is now going to be y minus four equal to the square of the expression x minus four, that's all. And if you're able to arrive at this uh, formula, I gave you another four. So in all is up to 20. If you're able to get everything right up to this stage, you will get uh, 20 over 20. And we, we marked uh, all your assignment yesterday. Is there any problem? If there is any problem, you can raise your hand and we talk about it. Any problem? Any concern? Um, okay, so if there is no problem, let me see first. Uh, Eunice, do you have any concern? Yeah, your hand is up. Eunice. Okay. Yes. Say, please, you said actually there's a problem with the question. Yes. Say, so please, like, can you give us the real question so that we solve it? Yes, the, the real question, just remove the first statement. I've highlighted that. The sum of the ages of two brothers is 38. That is not part of the question. Okay, so that you can go and try the rest. Yeah. Any other? Uh, Tiola, any problem? Um, no. Okay. All right. So. We can proceed, but right after this lesson, I'll be giving you a, a quick exercise. You will do and submit your solutions to me uh, immediately. So be preparing towards that. Again, let's see. Uh, Shelga, Shelga. What, Say. Did we, what did we learn last week? Change of subject. Okay, what did we study under the change of subject? Say, yeah. we learnt, we learnt the steps in making a variable the subject of a formula. Okay. Right. And we also saw some examples under it. Okay. Making the variable the subject in equation or in fractions. Making a variable the subject in equations involving. Uh, let me just take you through the steps again. The steps involved in uh, making a variable the subject. Who can tell us those steps? Who can tell us those steps? Tover patients, give us those steps. So please, I was not in class last week. You were not in class. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Mati Vaseline. Huh? Mati Vaseline. Yes. Give us the steps involved in solving uh, or in making a variable the subject. Go ahead, please. 
no fractions if they are in by multiplying c by the other two. Mm -hmm. Remove brackets, bracket like terms. Mm -hmm. And factorize the terms on each side of the equation. Come again, please take that step again. Then remove brackets. Yes. Group like terms. Mm -hmm. Factorize them on each side of the equation. Mm -hmm. Solve for the variable. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's okay. Um. Please, who is using Technopop 2? The one using Technopop 2. Okay, Frank Nukunu, do you also have the same thing? Do you, do you have the same thing? Yes, sir. Okay, I see a do divine. Do you have the same thing there? Yes, sir. All right. So let's write this. Let's write this. Making a variable the subject in equations involving fractions. So let's see. Um, so we have the first one there. Example one. If S equal to A over the expression one minus R, make R the subject of the relation. So going through the steps, let me just take the first example with you uh, for the sake of some of you who are not there, who don't have the steps, uh, like uh, a job right and others. Solution. Now, you are given the equation S equal to A over the expression one minus R. And if you go through our steps, we said that the first thing you need to do is to uh, remove fraction. And how do you remove the fraction? By multiplying the, the whole expression, both left and right side, or each of the terms by the LCM. And our LCM in this case is one minus R. So we multiply both sides by one minus R and that will give us S times one minus R equal to the whole of uh, this expression, which is the one, the A over one minus R, the whole of this also multiplied by the one minus R. So doing this, that we move to the next step. And the next step also says that we should, so we have to simplify. Now, this is multiplication. If you want to remove the fraction, now that you've, mul you've multiplied through by the LCM, we are going to cancel out. And in canceling out, we have this. The whole of one minus R is going to cancel the whole of one minus R here. So it means that you are now left with S multiplying one minus R equal to, now over here you are left with only A. Only A is at the top here. That is this one, this A um, is left. So we have this A times the one, you know, this is one so that that will still give you the A. And that will give you S times one minus R equal to A. Moving on, we have 
the next step is to expand. We are going step by step, expand. So if you expand, whatever is outside the bracket will multiply each of the terms in the bracket. So we have S times one will give us S minus S times R will give us SR. And that should be equal to A. So we've, we've done the expansion of the bracket. Remember, we are making R the subject. So if you are making R the subject, then we can see R in one of the expressions. We can see R in one of the expressions here. That is the negative SR. So to make that, we group like terms. In grouping like terms, this is, you see, the negative SR is already at the left side, so we leave it there. Now, this should be equal to, so we are going to move the S to the right side of the equation, and that will give us A minus S, that is this S here. So this will now give us, if we want to make R the subject, then we need to divide through by the number in front of R. The number in front of R here is negative S. So we divide both left and right sides of the equation by negative S. Now, if you do that, then we are going to have this negative S at the top will now cancel the negative s at the down. Are you upright? Are you following this? Yes. Okay. So if this negative s cancels this negative s, then you are now left with r. So your r will now be your R will now be equal to A minus S all over negative S. And this is also the same as one minus A over S. That is the suggested solution to this problem. Is there any concern? If you have any concern, you may let us know. Miriam Defiato, do you understand this? Yes. Okay. Sabita Avonu, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Right. Jabado Grace, are you following? Jabado Grace, are you following? Please answer, let's move on. Okay, uh, maybe she, she can hear me. So that is that for the first example. Let's move to the second example. Uh, using the same method, Let's see how we can solve the second one. Example two. From the relation V equal to U plus FT over M, make F the subject. Everybody should try this, please. When your answer is ready, you raise your hand so that I can call you. Attack by Golda.
please i've asked you who is using techno pop two your hand is up but i can call you to answer the question tell who is that please can you unmute and speak so that i can hear you okay what we units can you give us your answer say say go ahead please say please i got vm vm minus vm minus um over t equals f equal to f f okay keep your answer um lower your your hand and the fiat of miriam say say please add f equals mu minus mv over t okay uh don't call bright say please i had vm minus u Oh, okay. All right. Jabado Grace. Sir, please, I add F equals MV minus MU all over T. All right. That's fine. Uh, yes. A lot of hands are up, but I will answer the next question. So let's look at uh, our suggested uh, solution here. Now, solution. So we have the expression V equal to U plus FT all over M. Mm. We are making F the subject. So as usual, we said that we need to uh, remove, uh, remove the fraction by multiplying through by the LCM. In this case, our LCM is M. So we multiply each of the terms by M. So when you come here, we have M times the V equal to M times the U plus M times the expression F T over M. If you do that, you will see this M at the denominator will now cancel this M, which is multiplying, so that you will now be left with the equation or the formula MV, that's M times V will give us MV equal to M times U will also give us MU plus F times T times this one. You know, there is one in front of the bracket and that will also give us FT. So this is what we have now. The next step, down soup piece. What will be the next step? William Shepherd, what will be the next step? Jabado Grace, what will be the next step? Jabado Grace. I can't hear you. Rosebud, it will. Sir, please, you group like things. You group like things. So, 
in grouping like terms, that is going to give us best. Since we are making, we are making F, the F the subject, we need to bring all expressions all involving F, F to one side. So in this equation, we have MV minus MJ equal to FT. FT is already at the right side of the equation. Now, we say that this is equal to, so you see, we want to, make f the subject so we divide both sides of the equation by t that's the number sitting in front of f that number is t if you do that then you are you are going to have the t attached to the f cancelling the t at the denominator so you can see that your f is now standing alone there is nothing to cancel over here, but rather we can factorize M out since M is common to both terms. So we have M into bracket V minus U all over T. And that finally gives us our, uh, the answer to our, the problem. So we have F equal to M into bracket V minus U all over T. That is. Please copy this solution, then we move to another example. Amanu Jessica, are you done with the copying? Yes, sir. Okay. Send your search up here, please. You have to mute yourself. Good. Don't call Ajua. Are you done with co your the copying? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Awaga, are you done copying? Yes, sir. All right. Kumi, Monica, are you done? Yes, sir. Good. Let's move to the next example. Example number three. A formula for the distance moved by a body is given by S equal to half of the expression V plus U all multiplied by T. Rearrange the formula to make U the subject. Try this. Then we will con compare our solution. There is a hand up, but hold on. Uh, Sabuabe, your hand is up, but hold on. Yeah, rejoice. I can see your hand. Hold on.
a lot of hands up, but hold on. Okay, I see you do divine. Yes. Sir. Can you give us the answer to your uh, solution? U is equal to 2S minus VT over T. Okay, that's your answer. Chantal, can you give us the answer to your solution? All those whose hands are up, I can see you all. Okay, as she prepares, Nicholas, your hand is up. U equals two S minus V T over T. Okay. Kaka beauty. Sir, u equals 2s minus vt over t. Okay. Sand of Sir. Yes. Please, u equals 2s minus tv over t. Oh, okay. Let's consider uh, the, our suggested solution. Yes, if your hand is up, I'll call you. Don't worry. Solution. So we have the expression S equal to half of the expression B plus U all multiplied by T. We have to rearrange. So by rearranging, we have, so we have, the whole of the expression at the right side coming to the left. And then since the U is at the right side, so we bring the whole of that expression to the left side. And the expression at the left side, which is the S, will also come to the right side of the equation. And that is going to give us half of the expression V plus U multiplying by T equal to S. That is the first step we are supposed to go through. Now, there is a fraction there. So as usual, if there is a fraction, you multiply each of the expressions by the LCM so that you can now remove the fraction. And our LCM in this case is two. So we multiply both sides of the equation by two and that will give us two multiplying half of V plus U all multiplied by T equal to two S so that if you simplify the expression there, then these two outside this bracket will now cancel these two inside the bracket. So you are now left with V plus U all multiplied by T equal to 2S. If you continue, this will give us that's, that's Removing the bracket, since the U is inside the bracket, you will now have V times the T will give us VT. Plus U times the T will also give us UT. Place is supposed to be plus here. So that this, the whole of this will be equal to S. Please, this is plus. The VT minus, uh, minus UT here is supposed to be VT plus UT. So if you continue, you have, um, let me tell you what you get. You get 
ut equal to vt minus 2s ut equal to vt minus 2s so your final answer will be u equal to vt minus 2s all over t that is going to be your final solution there is a typo in this solution did you all get that answer i mentioned no sir what did you get please Jabado Grace, any problem? Your hand is up. Jabado Grace. Say. Yes. Say. On the screen, you didn't give us. This thing you just give us negative ut. I just gave you. But negative. now you've deleted it. You've deleted it now. No. What is your answer? U equals two x minus vt all over t. U equal to two x. Yes. Minus vt. Minus VT. All over T. All over two. All over T. T. Yes. Your answer is excellent. Are you okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Excellent answer. Any other person? Tula. Yes, Tula. I want you to call. Please, I can't hear you. So I got you equals two x minus t v all over t. Come again. U equals two x minus t v all on t. You are correct. Your answer mm -hmm. is correct. Shepherd William. Okay. Your hand is up. Yes, sir. Sir. Go ahead, please. Sir, had u is equal to two s minus vt all over t excellent you are correct so that is the solution to the problem there is a typo uh, in what i have here so all right let's move to the next question the next thing on the slide example number four Make you the subject of the relation one over f equal to one over v plus one over u. And find the value of u when f equal to six and v equal to three. Try that for me. Senyo, can you mute yourself?
Yes, Chantal, I can see your hand, but hold on. Mensa, hold on. Nicholas, can you give us your answer? Your hand is up. Okay, so that's your answer. Lower your hand. Akiti Pearl, give me your answer. Yeah, please, I just joined the class. Come again, please. Please, I just joined the class. I don't have any clue of course. Okay. Miriam, your hand is up. So, please, how do you equals negative six? Okay, so that's your answer. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's peace. Dance so peace. Yes. Okay, Deborah Paula. That is a modern. Okay. Now let's go through. Yeah. Huh? Yes, a uh, lot of hands are up here. Please, if your name is not appearing, if I see your hand, I will not call you. Techno Spark 4, I can't call you. William Shepherd, can you give us your answer? So please, I had U is equal to negative 6. Okay. That's your answer. Thank you. Um, Yes, more hands. Uh, Chantal, can you give us your answer now? Yes, uh, I got you got six. Okay. That's your answer. All right. Let's now consider uh, or look at the suggested solution to this problem. Our solution. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of hands, but just hold on. I'll I'll call you later to take your response. So we have the expression or the equation or the formula one over f equal to one over v plus one over u. We expect that you solve it uh, uh, this way. In, <coughs> sorry, any exams. We have, this is a fraction, and our LCM here is FVU. So we multiply, <laughs> we multiply each of the fractions by FUV. Please, if I mute you, do not unmute yourselves, okay? And that gives us FVU times one over F equal to FVU times one over V plus FVU times one over U. We are multiplying through by the LCM to remove the fraction. And if you continue, this is going to give us <coughs> um, the F here will now cancel this F here. The V here will also cancel V here. 
the u in this fraction will also cancel the u in this fraction. So here we are now left with vu times one will give us vu. That is equal to fu times one will give us fu plus fv times one will also give us fv. That is by removing the bracket. If you proceed, we now group the like terms. Since we are making you the subject, we group the like terms, which means that all expressions involving u should come to one side. And then all expressions without u should also go to one side of the equation. So here we go. We have vu minus fu. The fu is at the right side. So it will come, it will move to the left side. When it moves to the left side, it becomes minus. So we have VU minus FU, and that is equal to FV. We group the like terms. Now U is appearing in two of the expressions. So we need to factorize, that is the next step we need to factorize. So if you factorize, then we have V outside the bracket. In the bracket, we have V minus F. If I move V from this U, if I move the U, you are left with V. So we put it in the bracket minus, if I move this U outside the bracket, you are left with F. So we have V minus F in the bracket and all this is equal to FV. The next step is to make sure that your u stands alone. So we divide through by an, any number or expression in front of u. So in this case, the expression in front of u is v minus f, which means that we are going to divide both sides of the equation by v minus u. If you divide, it now gives us this, u, multiplying v minus f divided by v minus f equal to fv over v minus f. If you simplify, we can simplify here by cancellation, then your v minus f will cancel v minus f. So your u is now standing alone so that your final answer is going to be u equal to fv over the expression v minus f. Okay, we use substitution method, which means that in place of f and v, we put in the numbers or the values. So this is equal to, we have u equal to six times three, that is f times v, all divided by three minus six, which is the v minus f. And that will give us u equal to 18 over negative three, which, <coughs> When you simplify, it gives you u to be equal to negative six. That is our suggested solution to this problem. Any concern, any difficulty, you raise your hand and let help you. Dan so peace, you are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, senior Setrafia, any problem? No, sir. All right. So, yeah. Let me just take you back so that you can copy the solution. Please copy the solution. Okay. Who is doing that? Who is writing on the screen? <laughs> uh, 
Petrafia, I've warned you to mute yourself several times. Okay, so yeah, copy this, let's move on. I finished it now. Can you mute yourself? Okay, let's take the next, let's move to the next thing. So yeah, we've done uh, quite a lot of examples here. Let's uh, move on to the next thing there. Um, Example number five, uh, this is another one. Let's try this. Everybody should try this. Make C the subject of the relation that and hence find the value of C when A equal to five. Try that, let's see. I'm a match of courage. You give me the answer to this question. Amu Junu, get ready. Apedo Root, get ready. Emmanuel Edo Gake, you just came in, but you give me the solution to this problem. Akiti Pearl, are you on it? Apedo Root, are you on it? Yes, sir. Okay.
Okay, let's go through the solution together. So, our solution. So as usual, we have our, our formula there. And um, A plus C all over M equal to A plus 2C all over M minus one. So we multiply through by our LCM. And our LCM is M multiplying M minus one. That gives you your LCM. So uh, now we multiply each of uh, the expressions there or the fractions there by the LCM, which is M multiplying M minus one. So the first part will give us M times m minus one, multiplying the first fraction there, which is a plus c all over m, equal to the second side, that's the right side, which is also a plus two c over m minus one, all times m times m minus one. Now we can simplify, if you simplify, this m minus one, will now cancel M minus one here. The M here will also cancel the M here. So you are now left with M minus one multiplying A plus C at the left side. And then again, A plus two C multiplying your M at the right side. And that is going to give us M minus one times A plus C equal to the expression a plus 2c multiplying your m like we have here the next thing is to expand by ex removing the bracket there we have m if you pick this m will multiply every uh, letter in the second bracket so m times a will also give us a m m times c will now give us plus c m now we pick the negative one negative one times a will give us negative a negative one times c will give us negative c and that should be equal to a times m is a m a two c times m will also give us two c m so we've removed the bracket if you remove the bracket now we have a m so we we are to make a, which letter the subject than so piece. What are we making the subject? C the subject. Good. We are making C the subject. So we group all the like terms. So I am moving all the C to the right side and then all the other letters to the left side. So we have AM here at the left side minus this A at the left side then another am at the right side so i'll move it when it crosses the equal sign it becomes negative am and that should be equal to 2cm is already at the right side minus your cm which is here plus the c is negative here so when it crosses it becomes positive you will see clearly that from what we have there your am here will now cancel this am that is am minus am will give you zero so we are left with negative a at the left side of the equation and again we simplify this 2cm minus cm will also give you um m it will give you cm so plus c cm plus c and uh, that since c is present in both expressions we have m plus one times c so that if you divide through by m plus one which is the coefficient of c then we now have negative a over m plus one equal to m plus one times c all over m plus one. We simplify this side of the equation too, and that will give us 
So this will cancel out this one. And your C will now be equal to Edogake, I'm coming. Yeah, Emmanuel Fumado, your hand is up. I'll call you. Your C will now be equal to negative A all over M plus one. That is the solution to this problem. Emmanuel Fumado, can you ask your question? So please can you explain the, the third part again? I didn't get that, please. The third part. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, start, what is there? A M plus C M minus A minus C equal to A M plus two C M. All right. That is removing the bracket, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Good. When you are removing the bracket, when you pick the first letter, what is the first letter in the first bracket there? Say M. M. So if I put yes, this M, this M here is going to multiply everything, everything in the second bracket here. Can you see the second bracket? Yes, sir. Good. So let's use the M. You see, I've circled the M uh, with a, a red ink. Now, the M multiplying everything underlined in blue. M multiplying capital A will give you what? AM. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Good. Now, that same M is going to multiply the C. So, M times C will also give you what? CM. CM. That's why we have AM plus CM. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, you go and pick the second number. What is the second number in that first bracket? Sir, A. No. The second number in the first bracket. Minus one. Negative one. Good. So the whole of this, negative one. Can you see that? Yes. What did I do to the negative one? You cycled it. Good. Now, so the whole of that, the negative one will multiply everything in the second bracket, which is the A plus C. So negative one times the A will give you a negative A. Do you get it? Yes, sir. The negative one times the C will also give you negative C. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Good. So that is how we arrive at uh, the next step. So can you will you can you follow the rest? Yes, sir. Good, good. There is another hand up. Um oh some I saw a lot of hands. Okay. Any question? Dog with off rank, any question? No, sir. Okay. Edogake, can you ask your question now? Edogake. Okay. Yeah. Can you ask your question now? Oh, you are okay. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Boku Yunis, any problem? Sir, please, no. Good. And then, um, uh, Sabita Avonu. Sir. Are you, are you okay? Yes, sir. Good. So we move to, let's see what we have next. Um, This will be your final answer. Then we do our substitutions. So if you do the substitutions, your answer will also be negative five over three. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we spent all the time. I want to leave you here 